Lord Salem. Please. You've been pooping in the bathroom for five hours. Please get the fuck out there. Holy crap, here comes one big. Yang, I swear to Zeno Summer that if I find one of your shits in one of my cards, I will draw 25 for sure. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Can you hear me? Ruby. Yes. I can hear you but, who are you and where are you? How could you forget? You got me right in the palm of your hand. What do you mean? No, don't throw me away. I promise I'll be good. <sighs> Glad that's over. Why am I having that cliche feeling of someone powerful arriving to our location? Are you the headmaster of Beacon Academy whose name is Austin? That is correct. What do you want, young lady? I've heard you have a very powerful huntress among your students. Her name is Ruby Rose, right? I'm just a fan who wants to meet her in person and maybe spend one day with her. Well, I can't assure where is she right now but she's in the academy, that's for sure. Well, that's useful anyways. Thank you and good day. That Sailor Moon wannabe Zora seems kinda familiar but I can't remember when I felt it. What are you watching on your scroll, Miss Leader of Team Ruby? I'm mentally instructing my mind to be a better leader by watching tutorials on YouTube. That's not true. You're just watching spicy memes from late 2019 in the real world's timeline. And for your information, that fish is fucking kill. Weiss. What the fuck? I thought you said you would change your actions back when you told us about your visit with your therapists in the Christmas party. Well excuse me, female version of the generic shaman protagonist. I was just trying to help Ruby being shown as an actual leader and not a target of laughs and taunts. Now answer me this question, did you do something interesting after we've stopped that cargo robbery from a few months ago? Aside from eating those ulcremies which is not a thing to be considered interesting in my honest opinion? Actually, I did. This morning I went to buy some clothes at the store. Well, let's see what kind of stuff has this store to offer. Just that? I went outside this morning too and I did something much more interesting than that. WHY ARE YOU BUYING CLOTHES AT THE SOUP STORE?! FUCK YOU! Enough, you troop of imbeciles. The Vital Festival will begin this year and we're not going to go there clowning around. If you need me, I'll find Ruby and give her her well-deserved apologize. Mothic boy had a long way to go, I'll never forgive the Japanese. Yeah, that sucks. Huh? Howdy do, Miss Rose. My name is Michael and I'm your biggest fan. You were incredible kicking those criminals' asses. So I have a fan club? That's awesome. But hey, it's my fandom conflictive when it means of ships, because... Nope. It's a nice fandom, for your relief. Thank goodness. And are them with you? Because it wouldn't bother me to meet them. Sorry, but I'm afraid you will not meet them now. I just came all by myself to spend the entire day alongside you, my heroine. Veop. What a shame. But hey, 
If you said you're gonna spend the day with me, what are we waiting for? Wanna go somewhere else to talk while having fun? Ruby, there you are. I'm so sorry for destroy your feelings and hey, who's your friend? Sucklice. She's Mikoli, my biggest fan. Biggest fan? Excuse me, what? Ruby, we don't have a fan club aside of the one from our Ken selves. And if we get to have a popularity as big as the one from Dragon Ball Z abridged, this parody will run the risk to be sued by Bernie Burns and his crew from Rooster Teeth. Now Michael, can you show me your fan club pass? It's my kale, and sorry but I left it back at home. What a shame. But hey, let me introduce you to my sis and one of my best friends. So my little sis got her own fan club? I'm so proud of you, Ruby. They're coming. They're gonna spam hate for once by shipping their own comments or posting hate videos against the game and other lack of fear of me or the RT crew if they don't pair me with the blonde crew. They know who the game lover is. All I can see is black and yellow. Is your friend gonna be okay? Yeah, she's just facing one of the five stages of acceptance. So anyways, do you want to do something specific with us? Well, I just want to have the same fun the four of you have when you're not fighting the creatures of Grim or Bad Guys. I know a place, follow me. Your hairstyle and your appearance. You reminds me of a friend of mine. What? Someone who looks like me? Indeed. She told me that she knows about you and she'd be so excited to meet you in person someday. But that's something for another occasion, let's go. Where? Alright, since I'm too lazy to walk, I'm gonna drive our family's car. Since when you brought a car to the academy? Long story. Ah, yes! Saturdays are made for dads. And dad's car. I can't believe you girl- And here are you. Seriously? You don't even fight? Well, if that's what you want, then let's go somewhere else. One of the many rules of being a shonen wannabe anime-styled cartoon is to fight in an empty place. Yeah, but the place you've chosen is a bit small. How about you let me pick the battlefield? Much better. Dang it I don't have internet here. Sucks to be you, cause I have wireless internet and I can check my Facebook anywhere and anytime. But right now I'm watching anime on Crunchyroll. Yeah! <laughs> OMG, it's a woolly. I am Wulu, master of the fields of England, and king of the fluffs. Come now, show me what counts as fury amongst your misbegotten ape kind. Why aren't you showing your fighting skills, magical nerd? Because I have to see you in action so I can tell your fan club how good you truly are. Then I guess I know what I have to do. Thank you for spending the day with me, Mikali. It was pretty fun. No. Thanks to you for allowing me to know more about you, your sister and your friends. Farewell and good luck on your plans. Don't forget that we'll be always for you and your fan club. Thanks. I have a feeling that we will meet again anytime soon, Ruby Rose. She's definitely the best friend we've ever made. Later that night. Why is she still here? What is she doing? So, did you got enough information about that silver-eyed warrior? Of course. She haven't suspected anything. You 